I'm receiving you, Guardian. The Vanguard saw value in our investigation. We are tasked with the recovery of any information or relics pertaining to the darkness. Welcome back to the Glycon, Guardians. I expected you to be gone after the armistice. This ship is Cabal. I have a duty to its crew while Callus remains free. What have you found in our absence? Hidden records in Glycon's mainframe. From your lost Guardian. They're decrypting as we speak. Transmitting the first decrypted message. He's been drinking more and more of that royal slop. I see him pawing at the ear for hours, laughing. Eyes glazed over. There's another alignment tomorrow. Maybe I can slip the hangar and get lost before anyone notices. I know a few Guardians who might want to hear what I've seen. Did your data mining yield anything about a crown? Amsat detailed an ornate procession that brought a hive crown from Leviathan to Glycon. That allowed the darkness to invade the Scorn's thoughts. Not the darkness. The entity. The two are entwined. Does the difference matter? That there is a difference makes our understanding of the darkness a facade. Scans of the anomaly they chased, left in Mars's wake. It's a part of the darkness, one piece of a larger web. Others align with our missing planets and moons, as well as many points beyond Sol's borders. Callus's scribe identifies a voice in the darkness. One of their mother, of dead enemies, of ghoul. They say it spoke to Callus in his own voice taught him how to commune. His counselors work to isolate and contact the entity that speaks. What do you presume they are? The crown, the entity? Idols, sustained by fixation until there is nothing left to reap. A Scorpius turret. Its munitions are spent. The battle report shows skirmishes across the ship, battling several containment breaches. Still, Callus pressed on. Keitel, it seems Callus has fled. Amsat states, Emperor Callus has left us, his shadow broods. The legionaries spread rumors saying, he merged with darkness, he is dead, he fights to save us. Words dipped in false confidence. The Emperor is gone. None know where. May we abide his return. No. It is a trick. He is hiding here or elsewhere. He did not simply vanish. Bring back some tales, Guardian. Callus's surgeons experimented on the scorn. Cranial dissections. Dark ether drownings to engorge them. Science carved telepathic imprints into their brains. Linked them together in shared consciousness. Their collective mind was then opened through an artifact. A crown of possession. All to exploit their connection to the darkness. Had Callus seen Torobottle fall, as I did, would he have learned then? Wine? No. Concentrated dark ether. These are similar to Galron's chamber in the Royal Baths, but without life support systems. Micro etchings along the interior walls. Scratches. We hit Acheron's wall and sank. Straight down to the deep. Gly is in a bad way after the dive, all twisted. I'm all twisted. Whole crew rattling around in my skull like they're thinking for me. Scorn. What they used to be, what they are now. Dive must have opened the cells. Someone's gotta clip their horns, especially the big one. Or we're dead.
ghost was injured here. The remnants of its light pooled around the dark center. A memory preserved in physical form. You said you wouldn't. You promised. Everything you say is a lie. Entry transmitting. A chalice of opulence. I didn't think it was true. All I talk about the darkness. But it saw him. The inscription reads, To my captain, cast your shadow in the face of darkness, that you might drink of its beauty and grow fat. Something in here stared right back into Callus's hungry eyes. Then Aldrin's. Rotted tykes started shrieking, and, and I knew. I knew I shouldn't have come here. 